What's up, YouTube? Simply Unluckier. And today, we have a very epic video, but first, I want to ask you to check out the channel. Subscribe for more insane Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and please, you guys, remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. So today's video is interesting. It's not just another structure deck. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Shadal Showdown, but that's not all. This is one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh! structure decks that Konami has ever made. Let's find out why. So, let me see if they have something on the back here. Rebirth of the Shadals. Very cool. Structure Deck Shadal Showdown revives one of the all-time greatest strategies in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! The trading card game. Shadals can summon Shadal fusion monsters of any attribute and stack up powerful graveyard effects at the same time. Shadal Showdown offers new monsters that break the rules of what a Shadal monster can be. A full selection of cards you need to build a Shadal deck and more. Rebirth of the Shadals. So, we talked about Shadals, but you guys, you've got to see what's inside of this deck. I don't think I've ever seen Konami print something like this before. This is like a whole new world of uh, structure deck. Whole new category. And we've had some good structure decks lately. We got the uh, Rock Revolt and the Order of the Spellcasters and even the one with Ash Blossom. Structure deck, uh, Soul Burner, I think. Here's the Shadal structure deck game. Up. Very nice. Some rules. But yeah, all those structure decks I just mentioned, you guys, are all good and whatnot. And com in comparing to the Shadal deck, they may, of course, be a pretty good deck. A Salamander Grave, of course. But the thing about this Shadal deck here is there is some really good cards inside. And I'm talking, like, a lot. And when, when some of these cards are printed, too, it's like I did not think that we get reprinted in the same structure deck. So Konami, if you're gonna keep making structure structure decks like this, it's gonna it's gonna be epic. So we're gonna review these foil cards last. Um, ooh, look at the alternate art for El Shidal construct there. That's pretty cool. Um, but yes, just to go over their names, this is El Shidal Garista, the fire one, and this is the El Shidal um, Ap Ap Cologne, Ap Cologne, whatever you want to call her, but very cool. And uh, she's the two shells. And then we got the Kaios. That's pretty cool. Uh, Wendy, this is going to be your new best shadal girl. We'll talk about her. Ariel, very powerful as well. It's nice to see it. the ladies are in the house. Um, and I forget the story. If you guys can post in the comments below, shadals in general are a story of... Uh, like the the beast monsters, ritual beast monsters, also kind of mixing in with um, some of the gusto monsters. So yeah, let us know in the comments below how the shadals work out. This is uh, Resh Shadal Incarnation. This card's absolutely incredible. We'll talk about that. And then here is your alternate art for Winda. This is very cool. I like Winda. And then we have a, a Shekin Naga. That one just sounds so Japanese compared to the other ones. And, of course, a Super Shadal Fusion is in here. So, if you didn't see that coming, it's there. What? Is it? Is it me, or is that 10 foils? Since when does Konami do 10 foils? What? Does it say it back here? That's insanity. Wait. 10 foils, you guys. 10, ten foils. That's, that's different. I don't know if I've ever seen... I'm trying to remember the structure decks right now. 10 foils? Konami. That's different. I like that. I like that. Okay. So it's four ultras. No. Yeah. Three ultras and seven supers. What? All right. Sorry. I can't get stuck up on the foils too much. Okay. So as for the Shadal cards inside here, we will uh, kind of go through them. These are your classic Shadals. And this is nice to see these. This Everyone was very happy to see a Shadal printing, uh, deck printed like this because the cards are so good. Um, you got Falco. This one special summons. Or no, he grabs Shadal monsters. Uh, that's very nice. Special summons. And then Shadal Hedgehog is add a spell or trap. Um, this one's special summon. Got the dragon, target of card opponent controls. Very nice. Shadal Beast. This is uh, draw two discard. Got the hound in here. Uh, so Zephyr Naga. Got the Zephyr cards. There is a common 
black luster soldier envoy of the beginning here. What? What? I did not see that coming. This is one of my favorite cards. Everybody knows. We still have yet to pull it on a video since 10 years ago. But man, or from Invasion of Chaos. But if you guys check out the Godly uh, Dual Saga video that was uh, quite recent. Epic video, by the way, so check that out. Uh, but anyways, yes, Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginnings in here is actually playable with these Chanel cards. So it's very interesting to see him. A common Lava Golem is in here. I think I just like that. That's just cool. If you're going to put a classic, uh, some of these classic cards in here, that's, that's very nice. But Black Luster Soldier, Lava Golem, and a Dark Armed Dragon. Speaking of cards that we've pulled recently, the best opening we've probably ever done on video, ever, just getting the most valuable cards especially, was, you know, I'm not even going to say who it was. You might have an idea by looking at this card right now. But uh, definitely check out that video. Pulled one of the rarest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, it's crazy that both of the cards that we just recently kind of pulled here, Dark Arm and Envoy, are in this deck. And I know a lot of people are talking about the Shadals as like combos and stuff, but this is this is crazy. Okay, so Black Luster, Dark Arm, got some Fairy Tales, uh, Perform Age Trick Clown. This card's incredible. I think one more uh, Perform Age card goes with the Shadals. So Trick Clown gets special summon when he is sent to the graveyard. Um, so, and then Armageddon Knight also sends them to the graveyard. So anything that kind of foolish burials um, is going to be really good with Shadal cards. I uh, got the Light Sworn Archer. Electromagnetic Turtle is in here. So it's like they reprinted some of the YGLD cards. It's crazy. Mathematician. There you go. That's going to be by far one of the best cards in your deck with the Armageddon Knight type style. Just foolish barreling these uh, shell cards. Curry Bandit. Um, you got the Serperus. All right, here we go. The spells. You guys are probably thinking, what else could be in this deck? You got an Envoy and a Dark Arm. El Shadal Fusion. Nice. Okay. There's a Super Poly in here, you guys. Konami made a common Super Poly in a structure deck. What? Okay, that's fair. That's that's three, you know, pretty good cards. Instant Fusion is in this deck. Okay, all right, all right. So now we got now we got four good cards in here, guys. Four good cards. All right. I guess Dark Arm. You know, Dark Arm doesn't count. You know, he's he's not like a. You guys, these are like solid three dollar plus common cards. Okay, so. Super Poly, Black Luster, okay. It's Diffusion, that's, that's great. No, no. They literally put the best common spell in the game. What, I mean, I, I don't even know at this point. This is three of the best common spells in the game, or just spell cards in general. They put freaking Allure of Darkness in this deck. What? What? Oh, and Foolish, I didn't, I didn't even think about Foolish. Well, of course it's in here because it's Shadows, but it's just Foolish Barrel's in here too. Look at this again, you guys. Look at this. What is this? Okay, so let's just talk about the value of these cards before this structure deck. Um, I'm not sure what they are now. Simply Unlucky will have all of these, you guys, by the way. If you want to check out simplyunlucky.com, link at the top of the description below. We will have all these singles. We will have the structure decks. But look at this. This was a $3 card. This was a $5 card. This was a $5 card. And this was a $5 card. What? You seeing these four cards, you usually will see the amount of this value of this structure deck back instantly. So welcome to one of the best structure decks ever printed. Good job, Konami. I like it. Foolish Barrel, we got Living Fossil. Pot of Avarice is in here. There's another one. I didn't even know Pot of Avarice was in here. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my God, Twin Twisters. What? I didn't even realize. I didn't even know. I should have looked at the deck list so I wouldn't have been. No, you guys can enjoy this with me. This is, this is the review. I didn't know. I didn't know there's a twin twisters. Look at look at this again. Look at this again. What? What did you just do, Konami? What did you just do? What else is in here? Sinister Shadow. Okay. Lost Wind's in here. That's great. That's great. Unending Nightmare. Cool. Wow. Wow. When to go? Cool. Um, Anoya. I don't do that's great. Okay, the water one. And Shawl Construct. Wow. Wow, you guys. This is crazy talk. This is crazy talk. What in the heck just happened? This is this is insanity. So that is the reprint cards, you guys. We'll take a quick look over here at some of the Shadal cards. Um, so as you can see, 
Got the fire one. This is the two uh, constructs or two stall monsters. Constructs in here, windows in here. So basically, we just need to talk about some of these new supers a little bit. And I just want to spend some time on Wendy and Ariel and Incarnation. So Wendy is going to be extremely good. You can special summon a Shadol monster from your deck in a face up or face down defense position. Wow, when you flip summon this guy or when you flip her. If this card's sent to the grave by a card effect like Foolish Burial, you can special summon a Shadol monster from your deck in face down defense. Absolutely insane. You can only use one of those effects. So not only is it going to special summon Shadol monsters from your deck, but it also has the effect of when it's sent to the grave to still special summon them again. So it's, it's crazy to see that for two different effects. So that's very interesting to see. Now, for next one, it's gonna be Ariel. So Ariel's secondary effect's kinda of cool. It's like a DD Crow type thing, but this first one, flip. Target one of your banished at all monsters, special summon it. So there's so many wombos with that, you can usually just end up special summoning one of your removed from play fusions after you bring it out. Uh, whether it's gonna be Construct, Winda, or uh, yeah, it's insane. So extremely powerful to be able to do that. And the second effect here is you can, uh, when it's sent to the effect, uh, grave by effect, target up to three cards in the graveyards and banish them. Of course, just make it even better. And then let's check out Shadal Incarnation. Target Shadal Monster in your grave, special summon face up. So it's already like a monster born, but face, face up or face down defense. Of course, give it more abilities. And then banish this card from your grave. I'm guessing you can only use one effect per turn though, yeah. Uh, change one face down monster you control to face up or change one face up to face down. Beautiful. That is exactly what this deck probably needed. That is great. Seeing a Shawl Fusion here is very nice. Checking Naga over there. This is this is a gorgeous deck, you guys. But just one more time. Uh, Performer Pile Trick Clown, by the way, if you guys didn't see that. Uh, if this card's sent at the graveyard, target a poor mage, pay a thousand, special summon it. So you can just bring this guy back. Wombo combo. Very nice. Okay, so look at this. Just want to remind you guys if you didn't see that before. That is insanity. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. All right, you guys. This was possibly, definitely, maybe, the best structure deck Konami has ever made. Absolutely insane. Let us know in the comments below. You guys, and again, Simple and Lucky Game Shop will have all of these comments available on simpleandlucky.com. Link at the top of the description below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is, this is truly an epic product. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more insane Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply unlucky signing out.